So in my interview, they asked me what I knew about the cyber kill chain and about um, the MITRE ATT&CK framework. So I talked to them about the, the cyber kill chain and I went through the steps. And then I also talked to them about the MITRE, uh, the MITRE ATT&CK framework. And the, 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 the thing you need to remember is you don't need to remember everything in the MITRE ATT&CK framework page. Like I said, to memorize everything in here is, is pretty tough. And eventually some people probably get very familiar with certain components, but to remember everything in here is a little tough. But if you remember that going across the top, each and every column are your attack types and that everything below each column are your techniques, mm -hmm. those are your, your, your tactics and your techniques for actually getting in and doing that attack. So this is like the cyber kill chain on steroids is really the easiest way to put it. But you know, being able to have this available so that you can use it as a tool when you're working through an offense and being able to go and reference this, it will give you insight into what's the next step of the attack type. Where, you know, where are they going next? What technique might they do next? Where do I need to start looking if they've already got access to the system? Or where do I need to look in the past to, to gain more data so that I can make better assessments or make changes, especially in my lessons learned when I'm talking about incident response. So just being able to talk about all that is all you need to be able to do. And understanding this when you're looking at offenses, if you go back and look at some of these while you're doing an offense, they, it could help you understand them a little bit better too. Okay. 